This is an instructional video for all our students from year 1 to year 11. It highlights safety procedures which must be followed strictly while students are in school. On arrival, cars must follow the direction of the security guards and the flow of traffic. Temperature checks will be conducted by the security while you are still seated in your car. Please note that if your temperature is above normal, which is between 36.5 and 37.5 degrees Celsius, you will be asked to remain in your car and return home. You will only be allowed to come out of your car in front of the school's pedestrian gate. This is the drop-off point. Any attempt to come out of the car outside of this area will disrupt the flow of traffic and you will not be allowed to enter the school. Once you are out of your car, you must remember to leave a 2 meter gap between yourself and the person ahead of you in line as you proceed to the wash stations. Your face mask and or face shield must be on before you come down from the car and must remain on until you leave the premises, except when you are eating and drinking. Once inside the gates, you will proceed in a serpentine queue, also known as a zigzag queue, to the wash stations. Two meter markers have been placed on the ground. You must make sure that you are standing on the next available marker when queuing. You may not cross or jump over barriers on the way to the hand wash stations. At the hand wash station, you are expected to spend 20 seconds washing your hands thoroughly using soap and water as demonstrated here. After washing your hands, please wait for the person using the wash station on your left to leave before leaving your wash station. Leaving your wash station before the person to the left will violate the 2 meter distance rule. When moving through the school, please remember to leave a distance of 2 meters between yourself and the person next to you at all times. If you can touch the person next to you, you are too close. From the wash station, students who arrive early will go to the pavilion using the entrance to the right. You will wait in pre-mark spaces in the pavilion until a teacher comes down to lead you to your class. Spaces are marked with red tape. Please make sure that you sit right on top of the tape as each strip of tape is exactly two meters away from the next. When your teacher arrives, he or she will first remind you of safety protocols to be observed while moving through the school corridors and then lead you out of the pavilion. Please follow quietly as instructed, remembering to leave a 2 meter gap between yourself and the person ahead of you in line. Remember, if you can touch the person in front of you, you are too close. If you arrive after the teacher has come down, please go straight to your classroom and keep to the two meter rule as you go. One staircase is for going up and the other is for coming down. You must leave two steps between yourself and the person ahead of you when climbing up the stairs and when coming down. Please pay close attention to all floor markings as you move through the school. Different staircases are necessary for the two meter rule to work. If you are going up and another student is coming down using the same staircase, you both will be less than 2 meters apart as you can see here. When entering the classroom, please remember to always use a hand sanitizer. In the primary school, your class teacher will assign you a desk which will be your permanent desk for the term. To help stop the spread of germs, please do not swap desks with anyone at any time or for any reason. You will proceed to your desk where you will sit with your bag until your teacher asks you to take it to your cubicle. Your teacher will ask two students to go to the cubicle at a time. While you are waiting for your name to be called, if your hand sanitizer is in your bag, please bring it out and place the bottle in your pocket. When your name is called, quietly go to your cubicle 
drop your bag and then return to your seat. If you need to use the toilet during the class, ask your teacher. Only one student in a class may leave for the toilet at a time. During the class, face masks must remain in the proper position, covering the nose and mouth. If you see someone whose face is not covered, please report to your teacher immediately. When you return to class, after leaving for any reason, you must use a hand sanitizer before returning to your desk. In the secondary school, you will proceed up the in staircase, remembering to leave two steps between yourself and the person ahead of you. Once up the stairs and at your lockers, please remember to stand to the left of the locker door in order to leave a gap between yourself and the person using the next locker. Standing to the right of your locker will bring you too close to your neighbor who's standing to the left of theirs. Once you have retrieved your belongings from your locker, please go straight to class. When moving through the corridors before and after classes and between periods, Please remember to avoid physical contact. High fives, fist bumps, holding of hands, and all other forms of physical contact are not allowed. At break time, if you want to visit the talk shop, please go to the dining area and sit at a table. Please note that only two students are allowed to sit at a table at a time. Auntie Rose, the talk shop manager, will call you according to your tables. When you are called, approach the talk shop counter. Please pay special attention to the markings on the floor and follow the direction of the arrows. At the counter, please use the hand sanitizer before placing your order and remember to keep your hands off the counter. The new mode of payment will be a barcoded student ID card. This will help prevent the spread of germs. Once your payment is approved, Collect your item and return to your table. During break time or play time, you may remain in your bubble. Your bubble is made up of every student in your class who is in school at the same time as you. Within your bubble, the 2 meter rule still applies, which means even when playing, you must keep a distance of 2 meters between yourself and others. You may not leave your bubble to interact with students from another bubble under any circumstance. At lunchtime, you will sit at a table with one other student from your bubble and wait to be called to the serving point. When called, you will stand in line at the serving point. When in line, please observe the floor markings and make sure that you are standing on a marker. After collecting your food, return to your table. Your face mask can be placed on your jaw or on the table beside you when you are eating. As soon as you finish eating, return your face mask to the correct position, covering your nose and mouth, and stack your plate, cutlery, and tray neatly in the center of the table. closing time, you will come down to the ground floor using the staircase designated for coming down, otherwise known as the out staircase. You will then enter the pavilion or football stands and wait in a pre-marked space until your name is called. Remember to sit on a red line. When your name is called, you will exit the pavilion and move towards the lobby. Please remember to leave a two meter gap between yourself and others who may be moving around the ground floor at the same time. Walk into the lobby using the appropriate exit. The appropriate exit as shown here is the exit on the left side of the lobby. Walk through the lobby and wait just in front of the turnstile outside the lobby. Your parent, guardian or whoever has come to pick you up will meet you in front of the turnstile and you may exit together. Please do not walk past the turnstile until you are met by the person picking you up. Group gatherings are not allowed. 
As soon as you are met by the person picking you up, you are expected to keep moving until you enter your vehicle.